It's event four of the 2021 Rose Lady Series, and we're here at the Berkshire Golf Club. The club boasts two fantastic courses, the red and the blue, and is renowned for its long history and affinity with amateur golf. Having hosted many major amateur events, the trophy cabinet and honours boards are quite a spectacle. But as the professionals take to the pristine fairways, who will shine this time around? Welcome to the Berkshire Golf Club, just outside of Ascot in the Royal County of Berkshire. Last year in the inaugural Rose Lady Series, this was one of the three clubs that hosted the grand final. So we're delighted to see it back on an albeit blustery day in the 2021 season, which has already started strongly. So three events down with three different winners. Gabs Cowley secured her victory by a shot at West Langs. Liz Young, who was instrumental in launching this series, was triumphant in her first professional victory at Woburn. And last week over Liz's home course, two-time Solheim Cup player Becky Brewerton found herself back in the winner circle. There's a break in the schedule after this week, but some fantastic events and venues to look forward to over the summer. The Rose Lady series boasts strong fields throughout and Becky Brewerton's win at Brockenhurst Manor last week saw the end of her slump in form. It wasn't so much winning, it's it's how you feel on the course. I've had such such a long time, like years literally, of being nervous, panicking, fearful, all those embarrassed, all those horrible emotions on the course. So to actually go out and play and feel sort of semi-normal again, even in the playoff. Yeah, I had some adrenaline, but I was sort of able to interpret it in a good way, which you should be doing and actually enjoy it. And that's honestly the first time I can probably say that for quite a while. Returning to the Berkshire is last year's grand final champion, Alice Hewson. She too is feeling ready for the challenge. I'm really excited that we will have the opportunity to do this again this year. Um, obviously, it was a bit of a saving grace for us last year to be able to compete during the pandemic. So, no, really, really excited and looking forward to kind of getting going with my first one today and hopefully a few more later in the season. It's a tricky test right from the outset. A 211 yard par three over the heather into a 30 mile an hour wind. Let's get out and join the action with Richard Kaufman. Thanks, Iona. Another really good test lying ahead on this Herbert Fowler design. It's a par 71, and given the conditions, anything around level par will be, I'm sure, a very good score. That win at Brockenhurst Manor, a timely shot of confidence for Becky Brewerton. Such a great reaction on social media to the victory, making that tester for par at the first. Rachel Drummond had bogeyed the par three opener. The Scott, who was sixth last week behind Brewerton, almost pitching it in on the fly at the second hole. With her fiance Marco Penge battling in Sweden on the challenge tour, Sophie Lamb had this for Eagle at the third. Two parts to get back to level par and a hole that would rank the easiest on the day. Youngest player in the field? Well, that would be 14-year-old amateur Maggie Whitehead, who had parred the opening two holes. Beautifully judged at the third. Two putts later, and the schoolgirl would be one under par. Becky Brewerton, not the only Welsh player going well so far in this year's Rose Lady Series. Chloe Williams, off the back of an excellent rookie season on the Ladies' European Tour, was a runner-up a few weeks ago at Woburn. Williams with pars at the opening five holes. Another in form is Whitney Hillier, with successive fourth-place finishes the last two events. And the Australian bounced back nicely from a drop shot at the second. No eagle, but another to make birdie at the par five third. Spent a bit of time in the commentary box last week with Incy Mehmet, and she clearly doesn't just talk a good game. A great angle down the right-hand side at the second, setting up a birdie to move to one under. Same hole, and Alice Hewson, who shot 70 here in last year's Rose Ladies series, going on to win the shortened grand final. And given the conditions, she'd probably take another of those, a nice chip there to save par. Gabriella Cowley missed the green left at the first, but how about this touch to make sure 
she escaped with a par three. The winner of the opening event of the series at West Lags, she showed some more short game magic at the third, resulting in another par. But with birdies at the fifth and sixth, Cowley would move to two under to take the early lead from a quartet at one under that included youngster Whitehead, Felicity Johnson in the second group out, one over and into her back nine. Well, she was first out when she won at Brockenhurst Manor. A little later tea time for Becky Brewerton, out in 38. Uh, very nicely played there at the par 5 11 so a chance for a first birdie of the day has to see her tidying up after herself as well in some trouble at this par 5 for Houston this her fourth shot out of the heather oh how about that chance to make what would be a, an unlikely par She'll probably get a decent read off Brewerton as well. Caddy's working hard on a day like today as well. Now what a fantastic front nine. Nice tee shot as well at this short par four ninth. Just a flick in for the leader, Cowley. She's controlled it fabulously. You can see that flag buffeting around though. That's why two under is such an impressive score so far from Cowley. Two birdies, two bogeys on that front nine from Hillier. Up the slope here at 10. A little firmer, she might have made it. The Aussie about to embark on her ninth season on the ladies' European tour. Stays level par. Couldn't believe it's May time in the south of England given the way everyone's wrapped up it's been a struggle for sure today so far for Liz Young five over of course she needs another win to make sure she can have a shot at that 50,000 bonus remember you have to win two Rose Lady Series events and then the grand final for what is a very nice prize and this for an outward half of 33 which would easily be the best of the day Well, not to be, but it's amazing how a wind like today can affect the putts as well. Still, that's a terrific front nine, leading at two under. And this for Brewerton to start on the birdie trail. So close. But the smile says it all, she's enjoying it out there. As she admitted, there were times when she was terrified if she would break 80 or 90. Now she's competitive again. Great to see. Houston would have got a good read off that putt. This to stay within one. What an up and down that was. Maybe not as good as the one she made to win in South Africa last year, but superb nonetheless. Definitely worth the high five. Young for her birdie. Unfortunately, that kind of day. More good news, though, this week for the Rose Ladies Series. Announced that the event at the JCB Golf and Country Club is offering six places into final qualifying for the Women's Open. So even more incentive. But here at the Berkshire, it's Gabs Cowley in command, but some tough holes still to come. She's just one of four players under par. In the group, just one back teenage amateur Maggie Whitehead. All to play for at the Berkshire. Very windy conditions at the Berkshire for this fourth event of 11 in the 2021 Rose Ladies Series season. After two bogeys in her previous three holes, Sophie Lamb was in need of a pick-me-up and she got it at this short par four ninth. A kicking birdie to turn in 37 shots, one over par. Chloe Williams had eagled the par five sixth on the front nine. More progress on the first par five on the back nine, the 11th. The 
beautiful wedge to set up a birdie that would take the Welsh woman back to level par. It had been a tough start to the day for Rachel Drummond with four bogeys in the first eight holes, but the short par four started a fabulous fight back. She threatened a two. That approach got her to three over. Onto the par three tenth, and this time her putter doing the damage. In for a birdie two, and she'd also go on to birdie the 11th. One over for the round, given the conditions. No wonder there was a pep in her step. Gabriella Cowley led the way after a front nine that saw her at two under par. Disappointed, though, not to make the birdie here at the 11th. But still, impressively, no drop shots on the card. Brewerton was sticking around despite those early bogeys in her round. She ended a run of eight straight pars with a birdie at 14. And at 15, she gave herself another look at picking up a shot. Unfortunately, she couldn't hold that putt. With pars at 16 and 17, she two putted the last to set the clubhouse target with a one over par 72. After a bogey at 12, Alice Hewson was back to level par. She didn't get to defend her South African Open title last week as she was having to quarantine after getting back from America. A decent attempt for a birdie there at the 16th. With par at 17, she got into trouble off the tee at 18, this to save her par. A bogey finish then, matching Brewerton with a 72. But it was a 14-year-old from the northeast of England who was threatening to upstage her elders. Maggie Whitehead had turned in one under and stayed steady on that par putt at 10. Onto the par 5 11th, which she reached in two. No eagle, but a third birdie of the day to take Whitehead on top. She also birdied 12 before a drop shot at the 13th, but with three holes to play, the teenage sensation had opened up a pretty nice gap. With Cowley dropping three shots on the back nine, Whitehead was three ahead as she headed to the 16th. The 16th hole on the blue course at the Berkshire Golf Club, a very stern test. Often played as a par five, but not today. The girls will have to navigate this 453 yard par four, which rewards a long drive, so long as it avoids this fairway bunker tucked in the dog leg. But the key to scoring well here today will be the club selection for the approach. Over a wee burn to an elevated green, a par here will be a very good score. Yeah, indeed it would playing the hardest hole on the course. Well, Whitehead has come through part one, excellent drive. Might be only 14, but she seems to have the length. And how about that? That's a fabulous second as well. Well, what a story we've got brewing at the Berkshire. Three ahead. If she can par in, it's hard to see her being beaten, taking it all in a stride. Dog's excited as well. Now Cowley's just dropped shots at 16 and at 15 as well. Needs to get up and down to avoid another bogey here. Since that Miss Birdie putt at 11, it just seems like it sucked out all the momentum for her. Been a great fight back from Rachel Drummond. Four over after eight. Now at two over par. Got to give it a bit of a bash up the slope. Very well judged. Well, we saw him having a good run around just before. The dog, obviously, not his owner. Now, Drummond's putt was slow. This is a quick one for Whitehead. Steady. And that one's got away from her. Yep, still going as well. No problem, though. Giving her three-shot cushion, even a, a bogey at this stage wouldn't be too costly. Now, Cowley, a must-make this to avoid a fourth bogey in six holes. OK, well done. One over the target in the clubhouse right now. 
she stays at plus one. I'll work out that. Back to 16 with the leader. Well, I know I've mentioned her age a few times, but she is 14. That's a shame, that one. And a little bit of work coming back for her still to do. Now, last week at Brockenhurst Manor, Whitney Hillier came so close to a birdie at the final hole that would have got her into the playoff. This birdie for a 71. Oh, so close again. Running up there to mark her ball. Wind really buffeting around right now. Now, this for bogey. The stand will be a bit edgy from Whitehead, maybe showing her age at last. A four putt, double bogey, still leading, but back to level par now. So some tidying up to do at 18 for Hilliard. And a third player in with a 72. So still the targets one over par. Given what Whitehead has just gone through, worth sticking around. Pat on the back there from Trish Johnson. Now back to 16. This would be a, an excellent two-part for Rachel Drummond. And she's not out of it. Two back with two to play. So three at uh, one over par in the clubhouse. Cowley on that mark coming down the last with Whitehead still in front despite the six at 16. Well, it'd been a brilliant back nine from Rachel Drummond, and it got even better with this birdie at 17. Unfortunately, though, she could only make bogey at the last costly drop shot that would see her shoot a two over 73. But there would be a fourth player in at one over par, and that was Gabs Cowley with a par at 18. So one over par, still the target. which meant a par-par finish would have been enough to get the job done for Whitehead. She almost birdied 17. But after going left off the tee at 18, she racked up a triple bogey. Big pity, but a fantastic effort nonetheless. And I'm sure we're going to be hearing plenty more about Maggie Whitehead in the future. Certainly a name to keep an eye on. So Whitehead missing out, but four players still in with a chance of taking the title at the Berkshire. Rachel Drummond missed out with that bogey at 18, and Whitehead having to settle for a share of sixth place alongside Felicity Johnson. Well, at the close of regulation play and some severe weather conditions, we have four players tied on the top at one over par, which can only mean one thing, it's a playoff. Yeah, a playoff between two of this season's winners, Brewerton and Cowley along with Alice Hewson and Whitney Hilliard. Kate Rose there doing the uh, draw to see who would tee off first down the tough 18th, the first playoff hole, and Whitney Hillier unfortunately drove into the trees off the tee. She'd end up making a brilliant bogey five by holding a 25-footer. Becky Burton put her approach into the greenside bunker and splashed out to here. Her par putt, though, lacked conviction. In for a bogey five, and with Cowley and Hewson both making par fours, we were down to two for the title. Off to the 18th again, and with Houston only managing a bogey five, Cowley had this for the win, not to be. The drama then would continue. For the fourth time today, it was down the 18th. Houston looking to add to the Rose Ladies Series title she won in 2020. Cowley looking to become the first player to win in this series three times. Both on the green in two, Cowley had this lengthy right to left putt to try and make her birdie first. Pretty good effort, but she knew it meant that Houston would have a chance of her own to grab the win. The 23-year-old though never hit it hard enough. In match play, it might have been a case of 
give, give. But of course, both players needed to hold out. Houston kept her nerve. So over to Cowley. No problems. 21 holes and still nothing to separate them. Well, three times down the 18th hole wasn't enough to decide the winner, so we've moved across to the first hole, a treacherous par three, 211 yards with a crosswind. Will this be the hole that decides the winner of the fourth Rose Lady Series tournament? Well, both players parred this hole earlier in the day. Houston with the honour. Talking to it, I think that's gone a little bit left. Cowley leaning as if it's gone a, a little right. It is cold there, uh, Kate Rose wrapped up as only you can be in the British summer. Oh, a long way below the level of the green is Cowley. Can just about see the top of the flag. Oh, she's done well, very well. That's fabulously played. She'll be delighted with that when she gets to see it. That took a touch, didn't it, from Cowley. Now, from the other side of the green is Houston. Visually, at least, a, a much easier shot. And she's judged that pretty well, too. I have to say, honours even. I think it might be Houston to uh, putt first. Cowley here giving the uh, flag to her dad, Carl, who uh, used to play centre half for Millwall. Real match play situation here. If Houston can knock this in, she'll pile the pressure on Cowley. You never know, this could be for the win. Good effort. But now a wonderful opportunity for Cowley. Like the rest of us, Houston can only watch on. So this for the title for Gabriella Cowley. Yeah. Brilliant, she's got it. For the second time in four events, Gabriella Cowley, a winner on the Rose Ladies Series. I mean, it's been a tough day at the Berkshire. I mean, it's been a test of endurance as much as skill. And what a great battle we had at the end. Hard luck on Houston and the other playoff losers, but uh, well, plenty of players will be thinking it could have been them, but it's Cowley who once again emerges with the trophy, the Berkshire Golf Club champion. It was a battle, to be honest, uh, especially going into the playoff. Uh, played really good again, um, left a few chances out there, so to get it in the playoff, uh, over the moon. Well, it was a nail-biting finish, but four playoff holes later, we have our winner. Many congratulations to Gabriella Cowley. There is a break in the Rose Lady Series schedule now, but seven events remain this year, so do join us again next time. <laughs>